I have to confess, I have spent the last 15 years or more than that obsessing about this concept of decisioning power. And really what decisioning power is, or decisioning as a whole, is I want to consider a bunch of things so that I can select a few things. Pretty simple, actually. And the more of a thing that I have to buy, if the numerator and denominator match, then my decisioning power is essentially zero or almost nothing. If I have to consider a thousand things and I have to buy a thousand things, I don't get to discriminate. I don't get to say I don't want this thing, but I do want this. I don't get to say I like this more than I like that. Instead, you have to buy all of it. And so what we are trying to create for you is an understanding of the significance of decisioning power. We have spent a bunch of time, and we spent honestly years in building up to Kokai, talking about the concept of consideration circles, where if you start with a big circle, these are all the things I could buy. And then you apply some targeting. And often the first parameters that you put on a campaign are very reasonable and, and to some extent a no-brainer because you're saying, okay, I don't ship shoes to Argentina, so I'm not going to run ads in Argentina, even though maybe there are customers who would be interested there. But I don't have a way of selling there, so I'm only going to target, in this case, say, the U.S. So by targeting in the United States, I make it possible for me to narrow my consideration circle, but still have a big enough one that I don't have to buy everything that I'm looking at. But it's after you get more specific, when you start adding frequency caps, when you start saying, I only want to buy on these sites, and I only want to buy this price. Sometimes the mistake that we make is we overly constrain a campaign. And then we're back to no decisioning power, where we have to buy everything of that sort. And then we cannot discriminate on price, which can often be really bad if, as a result, media companies can raise their prices because you haven't left any room for decisioning. You haven't left any room for the algos and the platform to do work to find things that are on sale for you. So figuring out the right denominator and right numerator are at the very core of Kokai, and that's why you'll see things like relevance score right next to decisioning power. That is why we have AI forecasting as it relates to spend. And you'll get in various places throughout the platform a sense of how big your consideration circle is and what you have to buy so that you can optimize decisioning power for every one of your campaigns. Let's talk for just a minute about decisioning power score. A lot of time and effort went into this. Uh, in fact, the product manager who managed this literally put a rover on Mars, so we joke that that was the easy part, figuring out how to, to rate decisioning power was the hard part. I want to just make very clear exactly what we've tried to do here. Too often, we've narrowed inventory so much, and we do this especially in PMPs, where we make uh, our consideration circle super narrow. We're only considering this one site and this one placement on this one site. And as a result, we look at 100 ads and we have to buy 100 ads. Our decisioning power is very low. So the decisioning power score, it's not like it's perfect. I wouldn't orient around, I have to get 100 every time. But you are trying to get to the place where you're right, uh, right size or, or directionally toward that number so that you're considering a lot and buying a little. And you want there to be some disparity between your numerator and denominator. If you see to the top right a decisioning power score of zero, it means this campaign is set up for failure. So I would just look at decisioning power score as a health score. You can't get an A plus on cholesterol, but you can be in healthy ranges. And if you're above the 80, 85, 90 range, you're in a very good place. And that's all we're optimizing for here.